Jesus, I also heard him say that I confused you, that what you heard about me wasn't true, that you didn't feel uplifted after I had finished my piece. I mean, where's the positivity, you asked me? So let me please explain to you why I wrote this. This is my opus to bring the circus into focus and provoke some into action. Whole thinking has been turned into fraction, marginalized, way too much to fit in between the lines, so I give it to you straight so you won't strain your eyes. These times were not preceded with signs. Money, drink, and fine women have always been vice. This is time to think twice about it. These bones no longer fit in our caskets. So let's release the gay youth from their closets. At least we'll have more space for our secrets there, and someone will still supply them here. So come take this walk with me through back alleys and narrow streets. I want to take you in so deep you can hear the head toes banging against the car seat. I want it to be vivid, for you to feel like you lived it. Maybe then you'll want to make things different. I don't write for your entertainment. You've been cursed with the ignorance of the overprivileged. We don't have daddies that double as ATMs. Excuse me if I don't rhyme over BBMs. That party ain't here. If there was a memo, I missed it. I don't sand bowl, don't do minstrel shows. I was raised on salsa rhythms and realness. A poetic good journalist. It's my job to tell the truth. Since we're losing our youth, our daughters are not learning to become women. Our queens and empresses are being dragged through the fog, and you want me to lighten up. It's that frame of thought that has forced some to sell their souls for the applause caused by punchlines, but not mine. I do this for a reason. Doing anything less would be treason. I've seen so many casualties on my missions. It's my job to give you admission to this saga called Life on the Street. This ain't reality TV. I'll give you an avatar in 3D. Come take this walk with me. There is more to this life than you know. Everything that glitters isn't gold, but have you ever seen a diamond in the rough? They don't sparkle, but they're worth just as much. You liking my poem is not enough. I want you to feel connected. We are all women and some are being neglected, sold out, abused, and rejected. What happened to sisterhood? The problem with looking down on us is that your nose blocks the view. Reality is a hard pill to swallow, I suggest that you choose. See, this is what I have to give. This is what I do. I may never mention their names. They're not in it for the fame. They just want their stories told. And those streets, those streets are just so cold, I have to give them something to hold on to. So I give them life in your imagination. A warning to young women not to be caught in temptation or be coerced by someone else's manipulations. I mean, come on, sis. We all have scars from lessons learned. It's just that their wounds are more critical to me than yours, and they need my immediate attention. I understand that this may be beyond your comprehension, so let me put it to you like this. I am not a poet for hire. This fire comes from my soul. There's no need for quality control. As long as there are women out there that are forced to work them poles, need them stories written, I will continue to write these types of poems. Peace.